Hey, it's 3.33 p.m. right now. Can I get it right or can I get it right? Welcome back. Um, this one, it's going to be pretty much about how I related to the world back in the... Um, back in between 1982 and 1986 there was I go I keep going back I'm noticing that I keep trust me it I didn't plan it this way uh, I keep going back to this period period of my life because it was so influential I mean it, it was between me being six and ten I mean those are critical years and because I think that, um, and you know, there's data there that, that uh, can support that. What I'm saying that um, during those years, I I adopted or I saw a lot of things that uh, pretty much ended up in influencing the rest of my life. You know, that's what I'm I'm referring to. That it's a, it's serious business. Um, so one thing that. Um, I saw was, for instance, how uh, people, how I related to the world. Again, I decided to see that there was, you know, like I mentioned before, I, I thought that people were mean, but more and more I kept um, confirming that idea. Again, that's what beliefs become, you know, it's like this idea, uh, idea that keeps being re-emphasized and re-triggered and re... You know, not, finally, I recently learned this Mexican saying, because there's a lot of sayings in, the, in Mexico, you know, and uh, I'm sure there's many other cultures, you know, but um, uh, this one is just so full of wisdom. It says that whatever makes you anxious, lo que, lo, lo que angustia, ni se piensa, ni se platica. What makes you feel anguish or anxious shouldn't be thought of or even spoken about basically they're recommending just don't even bring it up to mind don't talk about it don't share it with anyone if it's something that you know makes you anxious makes you scared or basically perturbs you or disturbs you in any way well basically not to allow uh, uh, allow yourself to spend too much on it especially mentally you know what I mean uh, because, I mean, the old wisdom is, a lot of times, is because it's, um, it's full of um, the information. Uh, basically, the trial and error is like the uh, fight and flight uh, response in, in a human being. is something that our ancestors left there for us, you know. It's so, sometimes these, um, ah, Jasmine, Jasmine. I like flowers. I'm a sucker for flowers. I love flowers. Their scent, their look. I mean, when you're a girl, if you're wearing a dress, you can never go wrong with flower pattern. Because women, femininity, beauty, all inside that, that dress, you know, it's like a flower surrounded by more flowers you know what I mean that's that's the way I see it so um, yeah it's relating with the world you know having only two sides you know like boys and girls again I keep going back to that because uh, what I want to emphasize with my videos is the fact that <laughs> the rest of society doesn't really give a crap about what our inclinations are you know, again, like I said before, they're like, you know, you just keep that stuff to your, you know, to yourself, you know, <laughs> don't bring it out, don't talk about it, we just want you to behave like we want you to behave, otherwise we're gonna make you pay for it, you know, for the, for the, um, for the sin of you deciding that you'd rather be you than what we want you to be. It's really messed up, you know, that's why I keep pointing it out, because if you're in on the fence about, you know, executing a particular plan or you know you 
carrying on with your choice about what you want to do in life. I mean, first of all, nobody can tell you what you can do in life. Your spirit will tell you because it's where your sp your purpose is, and it's gonna resonate with you. And it's like, oh, I'd rather do this. Well, how much does it pay? That's always a, the, the first question. And as soon as you know, it's like, you know, to me, it was just like, well, how much does it pay? It's like, you just face slap yourself, you know, in mind because it's like, why is this person around me? <laughs> you know, this is the first thing that you that, that you say because it's like. These are people who can't can't see the possibilities. I go back to, uh, for instance, uh, that movie um, with Mark Wahlberg about the Philadelphia, uh, but someone who tried out for the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, when he was a lot older, you know, and um, um, when you looked at his neighborhood, at his friends, you know, his father, you know, the community was filled with people who just felt like life uh, hadn't been nice to them. Did I say it? They had a looser complex. It's like, no, it's not, never going to work out. No, because everything's rigged. No, because, you know, you, we, we're not lucky. And, you know, that kind of mentality. In fact, uh, what I remember in the, um, in, in the movie was something like um, where the two characters, the father and the son, are talking. You know, he's he's telling them about this because he's he's be very being very um, nonchalant about it, or kind of just touching just the surface of things. You know, this conversation was like that. You know, father and son really not speaking truly to each other because there's so much in between them. You know, see what I mean? And, um, and so the father was just like, so how is this, how are the tryouts? Oh, I was, that is what it is, you know, <laughs> the type of conversation with you can't get the, to the root of anything, you know, it's just like su superficialities. And um, the father just says to, to, to his own son, he says, you know, I wouldn't get my hopes too high on this one, you know what I mean? After your mother left us, uh, so and he starts going through the list of what has happened in the last 30 years, for instance. It's like, it's just, a man shouldn't, shouldn't get so excited about such things, you know, because, you know, it's just, uh, drag, you know, but when you're in a community like that, for you to excel, you know, it's just like, <laughs> imagine a crab trying to get out of a bucket right it's like please let me out of here that is you know how um, um, I'm sure you felt that before you know is this because this is I think this is universal you know starting with, with us here on earth you know because the um, the plan has always been to kind of like keep us away from our purpose, you know, and just and it, so they could they could give us our purpose. No, 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 we we know better, so we're gonna give you this, you know. You can look look at all these occupations, and they pay this much, and you know they entice you into becoming a doctor when you don't really care for people, <laughs> or becoming a lawyer when all you do is crooked stuff, you know, and so on and so forth, you know, because people are looking at the price tag at the uh, you know how much could they get you know and a lot of people who uh, um, for instance in politics and things like that it's it's it, it's gets out of control I mean where you you know you have a person wanting to be a dictator because they know that this this way this way this way nobody be, will be in my way you know I can just say what I want and it gets done <laughs> you know <laughs> Uh, instead of having through, uh, to go through all these processes, you know, <laughs> I mean, pass a bill. Who cares about a bill? Just make it so. You know, <laughs> it's like whoa. We're talking about a kingship here. I, I, someone who, again, remember the kingships. You know, were who assigned those kingships? Why do we have royalty, right? I believe that it was the the people who. Um, uh, probably decided, well, we are related to the gods, 
you know, the gods of all, because we, there was a period where there was people from other planets here on Earth, you know, it was a long, long time ago. I mean, this is why we have the pyramids. So, um, you know, they left all that world. You also got to remember that, that in Mexico, we, we have a section that it was basically called the city of the gods, Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, Teotihuacan, Teotihuacan. Yeah, because uh, apparently, the, you know, for instance, in Me Mexica or Nahuatl, you emphasize the third syllable, I believe, or the syllable before the end or something like that. So Teotihuacan, Teotihuacan. I know it as, as Teotihuacan, you know. Teotihuacan. Yeah, so it was basically the city of the uh, of the gods, and nobody knows who put it there. People just arrived, and there it was, you know. And I believe that a lot of the uh, monuments around the world, for instance, like the pyramids of Giza, were basically discovered the same way. After the uh, fall of consciousness, you know, we had to r restart, and... Uh, as we were starting, we were rediscovering these things, you know, like these monuments, and you know, whoever was smarter just decided, well, who's who built this? I did, <laughs> you know, it's a, something of that nature that just twisted the story. This is why, you know, basically we we we've, we have been robbed of our history, especially here on this planet. It is completely incomplete and you know, chopped to pieces, you know, and only the conquerors were the ones who basically, they dictated what the official story was going to be, but this is why everybody's so freaking confused, because it says nothing about purpose. Well, God will tell you, how? Tell me how that happens. Well, God is mysterious. And then they give you these lines where it's like, mm. but instead, I believe that Jesus, <laughs> my Baba is about to knock my little booth here. <laughs> I'm like it over. Um, I believe that Jesus was the type of guy who who communicated this to the masses that you don't need a place for you to be with God because God is within you. So all of these hoops and ladders you have to get around and through, you know, because these middlemen decided, well, we're the ones who, uh, who get you closer to God when God is already within you. So see, that's part of the the reason I make these videos because, you know, I consider myself a light worker because of my beliefs. And then I look around and I see debauchery. <laughs> Basically, it's just people don't don't put character. They, they don't put too much emphasis on character. Like people will really do bad things when people are not looking and then they wonder why you know all of a sudden they they have issues because the presence within you that is a piece of god that is you that is your tr true identity you were plucked out of the uh, out of the imagine a because it was a big light. It, it, God is a big light. A bit, you know, the biggest light, right? I mean, every everybody who passes on and comes back, they always say that it's a big light. So I'm going to go with those who have been there. <laughs> Essentially, that's where we're all heading back to. We're like planets, you know, in, in, in orbiting the sun. We're orbiting the, the same light, you know. We're trying to get there and it's just like this attraction it just pulls you because you're part of it and it's part of you it's so that you, you can't go anywhere that it doesn't pull you because you're latched on to this energy no matter what because it's within you you know it's like you know now that we have you know remote controls you know it's just this is it's 
like an item that you have that always reminds you I'm, I'm, I'm around, you know, and always keeps an eye on you, like, you know, like a GPS signal, you know, that is like, oh, there it is, there it is, you know, it keeps track of you and um, basically, the, 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 you know, this is your reality. This is yours. This is the, the, your your show, <laughs> and it, when you have input from religion and society and you know things that um, basically form your opinions and your beliefs, well, you know you can't help but create that world. You know, basically, the, what they use, what they're doing, is kind of manipulating. You're creating how you create. You know, with their two cents of well, you, it must be this way because this is the way it, it only gets done. But on a daily basis, we're receiving divine intelligence, divine information. So, and this information is brand new. It's always abstract because nobody has seen it before, you know, but the moment it arrives, it's always for a purpose, it's always to serve humankind. So including my speech, include every, everything that, that I undertake is for that reason, is to fulfill my purpose, you know, as a light worker, basically as someone who wants to carry the light, uh, as someone who brings light to people because they have been living in darkness for way too long. And this this is the videos that I make, you know, explaining why I am the way I am. Because of the, what I have seen, I've noticed there's a, lot of, there's a huge lack of character, meaning there's a huge lack of accountability, because everything gets blamed on the devil. <laughs> and essentially, basically, that is also within you. There's, there's nothing outside of you. There's just... You know, even in your awareness right now that you're watching this video, I'm basically in your universe, in your awareness, you know, because you have allowed me to, because for some serendipitous situation, or basically because destiny, because the major plan wants it that way, you are meant to find this, this, this information, you know, and, and again, it's, I'm like a, Again, like a feather that just kind of lands on a rock that has been sitting there at the cliff, just ready to jump off for years, for eons, right? And it's just, it takes just one little tip for it to just finally take that jump. You know, I think that, again, I'm not the only one because, again, I'm a light worker and meaning that there's, I'm, 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 uh, I'm part of a community. We're all doing the same thing, is to elevate your moods, elevate your vibrations, elevate your mind, elevate your heart, you know? So, all that psychopathy, you know, basically, we, you find a lot of people who are, um, you know, in religious groups, you know, that basically, like, they call themselves pastors and... Uh, and uh, reverence and stuff, stuff like that, especially here in the United States. And last night I was thinking, wait a second, what, what, why do you always, there's always a, like a common denominator that is all these crazy people that want to use the law of God and enforce it on people. First of all, God don't need any help from the hateful, from the angry, from the furious, from the rageful. From the criminally insane, God don't need any help from them, because God created this, has this wonderful system that it just works itself out, and you know you get what you put out. Basically, you get what you get. Yeah, what you give, you receive. That's how totals are totaled. That's how uh, accounts are settled. You do something, it comes back to you. Now you see why I'm being so nice to you? <laughs> because what goes around comes around. This is why I decided a long time ago, I just want to be good. Because being good gets you closer, gets you to the, to the high, higher vibrations, you know, especially when you have that intention. So then, 
I don't, I don't remember if I, if you guys saw that uh, video that I, I think I probably um, uploaded it to TikTok. Uh, it's a long time ago, but it was, I was showing the picture of, um, of, of a candle, and he had a picture on it. You know, there's a lot of candles that have a picture on it, and it was the guardian angel uh, um, picture. And in it, there's a little girl and a little boy, which brother and sister, right, crossing a a bridge that looks kind of scary, right? But there's an angel behind them, you know, just watching their step, right? At first glance, that's what you see. But what I saw is that this little girl was me, and I'm kind of like helping my little brothers along, my little sisters along. You know, even though I know it's scary, and I'm, I'm, I can get scared too. And that's, that's the idea, that even though you're scared, you're trying to make somebody else feel better. And when that happens, because you have a good intention, and when that happens, the angels get involved. And that's how you get the help. That's how you get blessed. That's how you get, because look at what I'm doing, what's happening, right? I'm giving so that I receive. It's almost simultaneous. I know that as, as I treat my little Baba, as I see him, like my kid, like the, like I love him so much because, of, I mean, how much he means to me because I know who delivered him, to, uh, who brought him into my life. Again, never planned it and when you think about it so how did you do that you just knew that i needed a friend and brought me the perfect dog a beagle with big fluffy ears and a cute face which brings me takes me back to my i think i believe it was my uh, first birthday my uh, one of my gifts that i got it was a little snoopy a beagle that i could write and i remember loving that beagle it materialized for me. You see what I mean? So the way I see Baba, I know that that's the way God sees me. So when my Baba is scared, because humans are setting fireworks off, yeah, dogs have a terrible time with fireworks. It's, it's, you know, I can't, implore you enough to please stop because it it, it it tears dogs apart internally mentally emotionally and not only that that's usually when they run away out of you know out of there they just want safety and so they just run and a lot of people end up with other dogs a lot of dogs can end up getting hit by cars because you know, they're out there loose, they've never been out before, and they just don't know the rules of the road, and, you know, they end up getting picked up by animal control, and then later on euthanized. All because people, you know, set up fireworks. So, when he's all scared, and I'm trying to make him feel better, he doesn't listen to me, he's still scared. And so many times I've been so scared always worrying always worrying I'm a professional warrior <laughs> not warrior like warrior like <laughs> that's what I learned in Mexico you know that when you can't do anything about it worry because that's putting work into it that means you care see what I mean to see why I make these videos because we've been filled with so much of the wrong information so anyway you know how I visual how I see Baba I know that God sees me and when I'm scared and I'm worried he sends me or it sends me signs and symbols you know to let me know it's okay I got you because I start getting all these studies like, dude, have you ever really run out of money? Because it's always about money. Um, and I'm like, no, 
I mean, think about all the money that you have received in your life. Did you ever really had to work for it? No. Didn't you just kind of expect that it to be there because you know you know that God is not gonna let you down? Like, yeah. And all of this, all of a sudden, is all this reasoning it starts to come in, and I know that it's just pretty, pretty much divine intelligence or God itself or the angels, you know, trying to talk some sense into me. So I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. So as, again, as I do for my Baba, when I feed him, whenever I take care of him, because he takes care of me. I mean, my family, the angels, and. You know, my mother, Earth. I mean, I take off my shoes and she takes care of me. She makes me feel better. I put my bottom on, on her. Basically, I sit on her. And all of a sudden, I feel better ten minutes later. And I can see things as a tree sees things. I can see as high as a, as a bird sees. As, as, as a, you know, as open wide. I can see the big picture like a bird. If I were flying up high, my problems, you know. So it, this gets me emotional because every step of the way, I find that God is there, that the angels are there, and they're always kind of trying to get us off of getting being so pessimistic and you know negative. But we do it because of the culture. So it's as if. I say if this is happening here on Earth and on the astral plane, the higher dimensional forces are doing everything possible to, to wake us up about it by giving us dreams and science and everything. With me, it started with dreams. Well, I, you know, when I was, after I was an adult, because that was part of this, what I was going to speak about in this video, but I never got to it. And now I've gotten way too long to, to, to start on that but basically uh, what I'm gonna talk about the on the next video is my association with the astral plane with you know uh, uh, places outside of the earth uh, times that were of not my this current one but visions of of past lifetimes basically and uh, the, the relationship from that to basically my 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 spirituality again i just feel that the divine is always leaving us breadcrumbs and it's there i go again <laughs> And it's ultimately for our liberation. And I can almost hear Mufasa, as our father, just saying, Remember. 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 So you can finally take your place, which is at the throne of your own life, because, baby, you are the king you are the hero of your own story talk to you next time